Today we're going to look at what to sew in February. I was going to work on the allotment, but we had a snowstorm passing through in the last days. So I thought, let's chat about what seeds we can start and what seeds I will personally start this month. Let's get growing. I'm actually back in our attic because the weather was just too crazy out there. Now, how do you know when to start planting? Of course, it differs from growing zone to growing zone, so make sure you account for that. I'm personally growing in zone 8B and the last expected frost date is the 15th of May. Working our way back, we can look into what we can start this month. If you want to take a look at my complete growing schedule, I've made an online calendar for you to see on my website and I'll leave a link down in the description. I actually also included a lot of information on the website, so if you click on, let's say, growing radishes, you can go inside of the page and over there you'll find some extra tips and tricks on how we're gonna start them. Now the first seed that we can and actually should start out is going to be aubergine or eggplant. These require much time to fully mature and need to start as soon as we can. I'm personally growing the variety called Half Long Violet. It's a strong and old plant that actually can be grown outside in the Netherlands if we get a very good summer, but it does best in the greenhouse. Now, the plan is to grow about four aubergine plants in the greenhouse this year, so I'm excited to see how good they will perform. Now, actually, it's good to know that there is a minimum growing temperature for aubergines. Anything lower than 20 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit will stun or stop its growth. As soon as the temperature goes above the 20 again, the plant will continue. You definitely want to start these inside on a heat mat or above heating. The next crop is part of the brassica family and that is broccoli, also known as calabrese. I'm starting these at the end of the month in modules race. The variety is called Monclano F1 and the other one um, Summer Purple. Monclano is one of the best varieties in the broccoli business. After harvesting the main head, it will keep on growing side shoots that can actually create more harvest than the main head itself. I'll sow these in a seed tray and prick them out into a module tray to grow for about two months. And this pretty much goes for cauliflower and Brussels sprouts as well. Next up will be a familiar plant for most of you to start early, tomatoes. Tomatoes, like our machines, need loads of time to fully mature, so sow them early, make sure we can harvest them before the temperature drops again. I'm going to grow them inside of the greenhouse and if I get around to build it on time, I will also do it in a polytunnel. I can't wait to see how they will perform in the greenhouse since this will be our first year trying. I'm going to grow a few different varieties. A cherry tomato mixture with Sweetie Red, Caressa Amarilla Yellow and a Button Doro Orange and Black Cherry Black if I'm right. Next to that, I'll also put in the yellow pear-shaped tasty tomatoes. Of course, next to that I'm gonna add the moneymaker tomato to use in soups, and lastly, a beef tomato called Marmand or Marmaind? Marmand. We're gonna start these inside because they need some heat to germinate. One of my favorites to grow is pointed cabbage, and we can also start these in February to get an early summer harvest. I'm starting the most used pointed cabbage, it's called the Cape Horn F1, and next to that, a red pointed cabbage called Calibos. I haven't grown the Calibos before, so I'm really interested to see how it will grow and taste. I'll update you when we can harvest them. Now we will be starting them out in module trays, as with most other plants on this list. Many cabbages actually can also be started in February, so if you're trying to grow cabbages, definitely look up the possibilities. Definitely one to add to this list is the like button for the YouTube algorithm. No, no, just kidding. I'm talking about onions. And um, if you're starting onion sets, you'll need to wait till about eight, April, but the seeds can already go in right now. We will be growing two varieties, a yellow onion called the Rheinsberger and a red onion called the Roya di Nord. I'm also looking at planting shallots this year, but the seeds uh, th there seems to be a problem with the delivery, so we'll see if they arrive on time. With that, I'm also going to start spring onions, and that's also this month. I'm going to grow the white variety called the White Lissabon and the red variety called Red Ninja. Onions and spring onions do well if you multi-sow them, so again, a big module tray, and I'm planting six to eight seeds per clump. Moving down the list, we meet one fun plant to grow and add to the garden, and that's going to be peas for shoots. I love to grow peas as they are easy and good looking and they also taste great. Now, peas for shoots, they still have that tasty flavor to add to salads. I'm growing many varieties of peas this year, but the peas for shoots will be the Herod. 
Many growers say you should not start peas in module trays, but it's actually perfectly fine to do this. I've done it multiple times and I never had any issues. Of course, to start off our season early here in zone eight, we need to get going with our peppers. These always require more time than we got here really, but this year in the greenhouse, we need to give it a shot. I'm growing the varieties Yolo Wonder and the Cayenne Long Slim. We will start these out in bigger pots and uh, spread seeds on there. Just wait till we can transplant them and prick them out into nine centimeters pot. We have a lot of time to grow, so we give them big pots. I can't wait to finally get more harvest than two or three small bell peppers. Let's see what happens. Next up, my favorite of the bunch, beetroot. Now, you will probably need to get a bold hardy variety to start this early. Um, I'm gonna try and start two varieties, the bold hardy beetroot and also the beta fulgaris. Um, I'm just gonna see and do a trial and we'll see what survives and how the harvest will be. Now, sowing these in a module tray again with the multi-sowing method. I'm making a walkthrough video of everything I'm planting this year. So if you want more information, just click the link down below and uh, I will update them if they are ready. Let's continue with radishes. Radishes don't really like the heat too much and actually taste less hot when you grow them earlier in the season. I'm growing a mixed color variety this year. It's called the Raffinus sativus. It's filled with yellow, white, red, and half red, white colors. With radishes, the plan is to multi-sow them in a module tray, and I'll be aiming to get about four per clump. Another great vegetable to start in February is going to be artichoke. Only grow these when you have a lot of space because they require about 80 centimeters or roughly three foot to grow. I'm starting them in nine centimeter pots or bigger to give them enough space when growing inside. The variety is called Fiolette de Provence. Provence. It's my first year growing these really. I haven't really grown artichokes before ever. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Lastly, I will also start out our lettuce mix in February. I'm actually going to grow many varieties of lettuce this year, some in spring and some in autumn. I'm gonna start with Salad Rocket. Next to that, I will start a crisp leaf lettuce, Grenobilis, a beautiful red curled leafy green. Also, corn salad is on the list. Some might know it as lamb's lettuce. Next up, the green and red salad bowl, Lactuca sativa. And at last, I wanna try out planting Milan lettuce. These I will grow for the hats, so I'm just gonna leave them in until they are ready. We're gonna start them in a module tray again, and I'm gonna use the smaller size cells, so the 77 cell, because lettuce don't require that much space to grow in. Uh, they're only being in here for about a month, and then we transplant them already. This is what I'll be starting this month. Like I said, check out your growing zone and uh, last frost date, and make sure you adjust when needed. I'll leave links in the description to anything that is mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a Patreon, join the community by subscribing, and don't forget to live the fondry.